Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. I'm Sonali, a certified yoga alliance alignment based yoga teacher. Today I want to discuss with you a condition called frozen shoulder. Okay, so when we're talking about frozen shoulder, we're not just talking about the actual shoulder joint. We're actually talking about all the muscles that are around the shoulder blade. So we're actually talking about the trapezius going down. We're talking about the rhomboids here. We're also talking about the muscle that's underneath and attaches to the actual shoulder blade, the scapula, the uh, serratus anterior, and then several other muscle groups as well. But those are the, some of the, the main ones that we really want to target when we are wanting to bring in greater mobility in our shoulder and our arm. So in order to do that, I want to first start off with this group of muscles, the trapezius, that actually uh, attaches here to the bottom of the neck. So we'll take our hand like this, and you'll just kind of move in to digging as much as possible um, without pain. If at any point you experience pain, you actually want to back off, you know. But if you're able to, as much pressure as you're able to tolerate, you'll just kind of pu push in, hold, and then pull out. And what this does is that it begins to open the muscle and hopefully loosen it up a little bit. Okay, and so you'll go down all the way. So of course we can't reach back behind the shoulder blade at some point. So I say that if you have any of these balls, then you can just use that. You can come, place a ball on the wall, and then just take your shoulder blade and towards the spine, Place the ball there and then just work your way, leaning into the ball as much as tolerable for you without too much pain and then you just kind of go like this. And at this point you can also see about gently moving the shoulder blade if you're able to and you just kind of work your way into that. Okay, and you're not really trying to massage up and down like this. You're just actually wanting to go in, hold, and then kind of work that shoulder blade into that ball and the muscles that are attaching to the shoulder blade. So you'll do that for about three to five minutes a day. And you want to go down all the way towards the, towards the bottom of the shoulder blade. That's where you want to go. So that's tip number one. And then tip number two if you have a strap, a yoga strap, or a rubber band strap, or a workout strap, or a belt, or even like a bathrobe strap, uh, any of it will work. So if you're experiencing a lot of pain by just lifting your arm this way, then just lift it as much as possible for you. If you're able to go to this height, that's great. If you're able to go even this height, however high you're able to go, go. For the video purpose, I'll just hold my hand here. And while I'm here, I'm actually bringing my mind into the shoulder blade. So, you'll bring the shoulder blade in and you're holding the strap just, you know, gently. Okay. And then you release the shoulder blades. So engage the shoulder blades and release. Engage, so you're squeezing them towards each other and then you're releasing. Okay, so you'll do that just to warm up those muscles and then Eventually, if you're able to stretch out those arms as much as possible for you, and then from here, holding in the strap, now you squeeze and release. Squeeze and release. So there's gentle pulling on the strap here. Not a lot of pulling, but, but a medium level pulling. So you'll do that for another two, three minutes a day. And those are the first two tips of the day. Uh, I'm actually going to be offering several more tips because there's so many other movements that we want to do with the shoulder and the shoulder blade. So watch out for those and stay tuned in our next video. But in the meantime, I invite you to go ahead and check me out on all my social media, Facebook, Twitter. Um, other than that, I'll see you next time. Thank you.